Hi, my name is Diana Baker. I'm one of the radiologists here at the Women's Center. And this is the fourth floor of the Women's Center where we do all of the ultrasound with the exception of breast ultrasound, which is done in our dedicated breast center. Um, many women are familiar with ultrasound from when they've had a, a mammogram and been asked to get a, uh, a breast ultrasound or um, when they or someone they've known has been pregnant and they've had an obstetric ultrasound. And that's a fair amount of what we do here at the Women's Center. What people don't understand is that uh, ultrasound is used for many different things other than obstetric ultrasound and breast imaging. Um, and we can image with ultrasound uh, every part of the body from the top of the head through the feet. So here we are in one of the ultrasound rooms here at the Women's Center. When you come to the Women's Center, uh, you'll be given instructions ahead of time how to prepare for your exam. And there are some simple instructions about how much water to drink or not to eat, depending on what exam you're going to have. Um, you'll be greeted in the front and brought back to one of these rooms. And this is an ultrasound machine here. And Mills Peninsula has made a commitment to state-of-the-art equipment. And so we have the best of the best here at the Women's Center. Basically what ultrasound is, it's just sound waves and the sound waves are transmitted through the body and reflected back and using this ultrasound probe, this is the probe that transmits the ultrasound waves and receives them and it's just rubbed on the body, on the skin and it doesn't hurt. Um, we use a little jelly in between the skin and the probe uh, to get a good contact and the images um, show up on our machine and are also transmitted digitally uh, into a file and uh, they're read by the radiologist. So one of the most common examinations we do here in the Women's Center is a pelvic ultrasound and one of the most common reasons for that is for uh, a woman who has abnormal bleeding. Either a premenopausal woman, a woman who has not gone through menopause yet, who has spotting in between her periods, or who has uh, abnormal periods in that they're coming uh, at funny times, or they're a lot heavier than they ever have been, for all of those reasons, or for a postmenopausal woman who shouldn't have any bleeding at all, and all of a sudden she finds herself spotting. Um, the first thing to do is to go to your doctor, your primary care doctor, or if you have one, a gynecologist. And many times they can figure out what's happening without doing an ultrasound. But if they need an ultrasound or they need a way to look at the uterus or the lining of the uterus called the endometrium, then they'll send you for an ultrasound, a pelvic ultrasound. And ultrasound is great for looking at the uterus itself to see is there a fibroid, which is a lump, which is not cancerous, just a benign lump in the uterus, but it can cause bleeding. Uh, or uh, a lump inside the lining of the uterus, such as a benign polyp um, in the endometrium, and that can cause bleeding. Finally, ultrasound is great for looking for a little area of thickening of the endometrium, uh, which could represent an endometrial cancer, and oftentimes bleeding can be the first sign of endometrial cancer. Ultrasound is also uh, good for looking at the ovaries. Um, do they look normal, or is there either a benign lump in the ovary or something that looks like it could be an ovarian cancer? And so that's a very common reason for us to do pelvic ultrasound here at the Women's Center.